today is April 27, 2020, and it's about 6.30 p.m. And I'm here to do my April finishes. I just took a quilt off my lone warm and thought that I would come out and take advantage of the great weather before it rains again. But I wanted to do my finishes for the month. So I only have three completed projects that actually belong to me this month. But what I have been doing is a lot of long form quilting for customers. So I am going to insert pictures of five quilts that I did for one customer here. So here I'm showing you some quilts from a person who was referred to me by an ex-co-worker. She basically does very simple quilts with squares, but I wanted to give her some elegant, elegant quilting. This is Lisa's Lace. This second one, I can't remember the name of the design, but uh, I use more of a geometric design here. The next quilt is, she has two of these quilts, one in purple, one in green. I use the same pattern, it's called geometric. And this one, the geometric design was really small. It was the first one that I did. And then on this next one with the green and gray, I actually made the geometric design a little bit bigger. And then her final quilt was a Christmas quilt made from a panto. I thought it was put together very nicely. I really liked it. And I ended up using the snowflakes design on this one. I also quilted another quilt for my 90 plus euro quilter and I will be inserting her picture here. This is a customer quilt that I'm working on and it was actually made by someone else as a gift and I did the quilting on it and I'm having a difficult time recording because of the wind and as you have just seen and I just wanted to get a video of this quilt for you guys so you can see that it's one of my finishes I did the quilting I trimmed it and added the binding onto the quilt so let's go get some close-ups after we pick the quilt up <laughs> hold on all right guys now that you've seen that clip of me outside trying to record in the wind, I thought that I would come in and give you a true look at this quilt because the coloring outside wasn't right. It's still a little bright here because I have the window open, but it's a lot better. But you can see the design of the quilting that's going on in the quilt top. And yeah, I just love it. So this is, to me, a semi-custom quilt. Um, because I, I just did an edge to edge in the background and then I actually skipped the large squares here. I think they're six inches square and I then put the motif inside of the square. I did a video on how I did this on my Quilt Easy Butler robotic system and I will put a link up at the eye above. So I just wanted to give you a look at this quilt and then I'll zoom in a little bit so you can get a close up. So I used two different pantos that didn't go together but I liked them so well that I used them anyway. But this one has rosebuds and then it has this kind of swirl hook flower and I thought that it was similar enough to that that it would be okay to use it. But I am enjoying this. Um, hope my customer likes it. And I will see you in the next clip. In addition to the quilts, as we all know, we've probably all been making masks. I have made over 
60 masks. I kind of lost count, but I know I made at least 60. I also made a mini album for a customer that was in order and I just thought that I would add that to this video as well. So my first finish is a UFO that I started in November of 2018. This quilt is called Scrappy Rails, also known as Meeting Eric Oda. <laughs> I actually started this quilt when we were at the Houston Quilt Show. I was just making uh, this quilt so that I could put it into my quilt lecture. So I made a smaller version of the raffle quilts that I have made. Just wanted to keep something that I could use in my lectures with this particular design. So let me take you up close. On this one, it just has interlocking circles on this panto that I used. I really love it. It's called Bubbles. And this one, as I said, I started um, in 2018, November 2018. And I actually finished this one on 4-18-2020. Yes, 4-18-2020. And these quilts are not in order of completion, they're actually in order of size. <laughs> so we'll move on to the next quilt. So this next quilt is called Select Your Dream. And what I have done with this quilt that I started in January of 2016, when I purchased my long arm, I made this panel so that I could put quilting designs on it and I never got around to getting it completed. So. What I have done is I finished this. I started quilting it, let's see, last Wednesday, I think. Either last Wednesday or last Thursday. And so I've had it on my long arm for about, took me about four days of quilting to get this done. I wanted to get it off. So I will go up and show you some of this detail because you really can't see what's going on. And what this quilt is for is for my customers to use to pick quilting designs and this isn't all of the designs that I can do on my machine but it's just some of them and it's called select your dream because it's for them to select the pattern <laughs> so and it's rainbow style so that's why I added the dream on it so I've got various different quiltings everything is different in the borders I've got about five of them on the left and right two on the top well technically three because I can also do text and then I have, um, like I said, five on the left and right, and then three are on the bottom of the quilt. And I know that this is going to be a little shaky, but in order for me to let you see, I have to tilt my tripod. But you can see all of the different quilting here that I have done in these squares. And these are, most of these in the big squares and the borders or pantos, I think I got two um border pantos in the border but most of these are in the larger areas are all pantos that can be done all over the quilt so i just reduced them down so i could get them into these blocks and then i also have these blocks that are in my cornerstones and they are actual blocks and then in these sashings i do have a lot of border patterns but they could also be used as overall as well most of them can be used as overall so that is what I have been working on took me uh, just stitching it took me about I'd say seven hours of just machine stitching and that doesn't include like programming in each block and also I'll have a video of how to program like a whole row is how I did mine, like I would do a whole block row, and then I would come back and do a sashing and cornerstone row. So I will show you that as well. You can't really see the detail on this up close, but I did wanted to share it with you guys anyway. 
but um, I'm really happy with that also on this quilt I want to show you that on the back I have like a label on it that tells me exactly which block is where and for my cornerstones I have like a little cheat sheet up here that tells me what the blocks are in the cornerstone just in case somebody asks me for it as well as I will probably use it myself for my own projects all right so this quilt top you all saw me making the four patches in one of my live chats and I got this quilt completed I actually pieced this quilt top in like 10 days this entire quilt top start to finish cutting and all and I will go up and see when did I finish it. So I started on March 28th and I finished it on April 18th. So as I said, my quilts are in order because my deck gets bigger as it comes down this way. So that's why they're in this particular order. But this will be a pattern that I will have on the T-Quilt site. I really wanted to do some custom quilting on this, but decided not to so ended up going with a panto called Eve I think it's called Eve border to border so let me go up and show you some of the actual quilting it's beautiful I just love it it's real airy it's enough coverage but not enough to take over so this was my first time making an all purple quilt for the most part <laughs> So yes, loved it, had fun doing it. Marathon sewing around the clock. It's actually called my quarantine quilt uh, for COVID-19. So let me see how I actually worded it. It says wine for two is how I titled it. But I just wanted to let you know that this was my COVID quilt when I was so stressed <laughs> from all that was going on in the world that I could not actually sleep, so. Yeah, so that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed what I've showed you for this month. And we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. Thank you all so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Share my channel with your other quilting friends. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye, T-Quilters. Stay blessed.